In this video, we're going to go through best practices for using Hero Wash, an excellent alternative for IPA, for cleaning your 3D prints. To get started, you'll need a pre-wash container, a brush, an ultrasonic cleaner, and a method to quickly dry your prints. In this case, I'm using a blow dryer. Using a metal spatula to carefully remove my prints from my build platform, I'm going to prepare the pre-wash, and this is where I want to remove the majority of the resin before going into the ultrasonic cleaner. You want to agitate your prints in Hero Wash to remove as much of the resin as you can, using the brush to assist. Take care to give each individual piece a good cleaning. After completing our pre-wash, we're going to go ahead and put our printed pieces into the ultrasonic cleaner for three minutes. As Hero Wash is non-flammable, you do have the option to heat your ultrasonic cleaner to 40 or 50 degrees Celsius. Heating your ultrasonic cleaner can improve its ability to remove uncured resin. Once the ultrasonic cleaner has completed its three minute cycle, I'm gonna do a quick wash and just clean water to remove as much of the Hero Wash as possible. Be sure you're wearing gloves and eye protection at all times when handling uncured prints and Hero Wash. At this stage, I'm gonna use my blow dryer to individually dry each piece before removing the supports and heading over to the post-cure unit. This piece is printed with Sidekick from 3D Resin Solutions and I like to glue my piece together with simple super glue before heading over to the post-cure unit. Today I'm using a Form Cure post-cure unit which is excellent at removing surface tack from your prints and post-curing them. I'll be doing 30 minutes at 35 degrees Celsius. Here are the specifications of this particular cure unit as there are many available on the market. Thank you for watching. Be sure to head over to 3DResinSolutions.com to pick up your bottle of Hero Wash or any of our custom DLP 3D printing resins. Have a good day.